The explanation of capitalism is a project to which mainstream economists have contributed nothing for about half a century. A principal reason is that capitalism is a historical phenomenon, not an abstract or ideal system, still less a mathematical model. To explain it, one needs to place it firmly in historical perspective. Here I would point to the insights of Kari Polanyi Levitt, a non-mainstream economist of the highest distinction, whose most recent book, From the Great Transformation to the Great Financialization, does a wonderful job of describing the origins of modern capitalism in the globalization that began with the discovery of the Americas in the 15th century and rise of the Caribbean agricultural and industrial system based on the cultivation of sugar by slaves imported from Africa. Capitalism is a system defined by the purchase and sale of capital assets. This is what distinguishes it from its feudal predecessor, and the original capital asset was predominantly the human slave. Only later did the form of industrial capitalism emerge, in which a distinction began to be drawn between capital in the form of machines, and machines inventory and finance, and wage labor. 